morning, Jumpstart Nation. Good morning, good morning to you. So glad you're on board with us and uh, getting up and getting going with JSM. Speaking the Word of God. We're speaking the Word of God, changing our world, jumpstarting our day, speaking the Word of God. But it's more than just jumpstarting your day. When you speak the Word of God, you're changing lives all around you, praise God. You are become, you are an atmospheric change agent. When you become proactive and begin to speak the Word of God and declare the Word of God and to agree with God with your mouth, you're no longer a thermometer, you're a thermostat. You're no longer responding to the temperature, you're creating the temperature change. You go from a thermometer measuring the environment to a thermostat changing the environment. That's what a speaker of the word does. That's what a, that's what a believer, a faith person does. They are an, envir- an agent of change. Amen. So we've been talking about the kingdom of God. Jesus said in Matthew 6, 33, seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. And we're just scratching the surface. Yesterday, uh, we left off talking about what does it mean to seek first the kingdom of God. And we read Matthew 13, 44, where it says that Jesus is, Jesus is trying to paint this picture so we can get it, so we can become good soil. We can understand it, become good soil. And in Matthew chapter 13, he, he told many parables, uh, seven or eight parables, six, seven or eight, a bunch of parables of trying to explain to us what the kingdom of God looks like so we could operate in it. And one of the ones, he said, the kingdom of heaven, Matthew 13, 44, the kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field, which a man or woman found and hid. It was already hidden, but the person found it and hid it again. And what does that mean? It means when you see the, the revelation of the kingdom of God and how it operates, it's so ba- powerful. It'll change your life financially. It'll change your life physically with healing. It'll change your mentality, your mindset. It'll change every part of your life. The kingdom of God is heaven's conditions operating on planet earth. And he said it so that they find, he, you find it, then you hide it. Where are you hiding it? You're hiding it in your heart. You're hiding it in your heart. You're, you, you're getting it deep into your heart. And this, and for joy over it, he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. What's Jesus saying? Once you see how valuable the kingdom of God is, you will no longer put your financial trust in the world's system, the cur- earth curse system. You will begin investing and buying into the kingdom of God, even with your finances. You'll begin to learn how to buy into that kingdom, how to invest into that kingdom, and man, it will produce multiplied fruit because God even said this, this is what God's plan is for you. The very first thing God said over you in Genesis 1, 26 through 28, he said, be fruitful and multiply. And that's what the kingdom of God does. Now, all right, here's fresh turf. Matthew 13, 45, again, tells you what it means to seek first the kingdom of God, so things are added to you. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant seeking beautiful pearls, who, when he had found one pearl of great price, the word price here is the Greek word time, T-I-M-A, it means honor or value. It is a pearl of great price, a pearl of great honor, And of great value, said he went and sold all that he had and bought it. Now, we often have read this as if this is God, and it could be applied to God being the person. In other words, God saw how valuable we were, and he paid the price of his son to to get us. But that's not what he's talking about here. He said it's when uh, the kingdom of heaven uh, is like a merchant seeking beautiful pearls Plural. You know, there are there are people looking for businesses, trying to establish businesses. They're trying to find that those things that will give them stability, financial stability, health, you know, physical health, wealth, you know, uh, uh, their cup flowing over and they're looking for the pearls 
But when you discover the one pearl, the kingdom of God and how it operates, it's of great value. It will cause you to sell all that you have and buy it. What's that mean? It means when you see how powerful the kingdom of God is concerning your physical health, your mental health, your financial wealth, you will buy into it. You will begin to invest into the kingdom of God with all your heart, soul, mind, strength, and money and finances. You'll begin to figure out how to do it. And we're going to talk about how that works. Okay. But, it, but your giving needs to be based on your understanding. You must understand the kingdom of God in your heart so that your giving is motivated not out of law, not out of obligation, not out of trying to keep a curse off of you, not out of Malachi 3, which is Old Covenant, but out of the value you see in this investment. It's so powerful, both the man seeking the pearls and, the, and yesterday, the, the man that found the treasure in the field, when they saw the value of this thing, they sold out all, they, they stopped trusting the mammon system and they became complete believers and bought into this kingdom of God system. When we come back, we're going to even go further with this. It's going to be awesome. So, but I want you to jump, jump, jump start this. Let's speak this out loud. The kingdom of God that's inside of me is so powerful. It's so valuable, it is like one pearl of great price that is better than all the pearls and all the financial ideas in the world. The kingdom of heaven is so good that I'm selling out to it and investing in it with all of my heart, all of my soul, all of my mind, all of my finances. My complete trust is in the kingdom of God. In Jesus' name. Hey, when we come back, we're going to see some more things. It's going to be really good. Let's take us a step further, man. This is getting good. This is starting to, the pieces are coming together. Jesus says, when you understand the word of the kingdom, you become good soil and you start producing a hundred fold, 60 fold, 30 fold. Wow. Wow. That is awesome. And don't interpret 30 fold as 30%. It's 30 folded over 30 times. Folded over 30 times. That's astronomical. A hundred fold doesn't mean a hundred percent. It means a hundred folded over. It is, it's an exponential number. All right. Now we found out that the kingdom of heaven to seek first, the kingdom of God, of God is for you to see it. Like the man saw the treasure in the field. He saw how valuable it was. So he, he found it. He hid the revelation in his heart. Then he went, sold all he had and bought the field. In other words, he totally completely committed to operating in the kingdom of God. And it's also like the merchant who was looking for pearls. To, to pearls, you know, he wanted to sell the pearls, plural, so he could make a living, so he could, you know, get ahead in life. But he discovered one pearl of great price, the kingdom of God and how it operates. It says he went and sold all he had and bought that one pearl. He invested in it. He, he put all of his trust in that one pearl, the kingdom of God and how it operates, the laws of that kingdom are so valuable when you start seeing it. I had a young lady say to me last week, she said to me, she had a financial major. I can't wait to share it. I just can't yet. It's still in the making. She had a major financial breakthrough. She said to me, it is amazing. She goes, the word's always been good to me. This young lady said, but when I saw it operate like that, it has made me hungry to see it even 
more. Ooh, just like the man that found the treasure and the man that found the pearl of great price. All the way, by all the way, trivia. The Greek word for pearl, you're going to get a kick out of this. The Greek word for pearl is margarita. That's the Greek word for pearl, margarita. He found a margarita <laughs> of great price. So here's the man, found the, the treasure in the field, the man that found the pearl of great price, sold all he had, bought into it. This is exactly what happened to Peter in Luke chapter 5. Luke chapter 5, I'll, I'll recount some of the story. This is where Peter was fishing all night long. Jesus showed up in the morning, and Peter's clean, cleaning his nets, cleaning his nets along with his partners in the other boat, James and John. Peter says, hey, man, I need to borrow your boat. Can I, I need to get in your boat, push it out a little bit from the, the shore. And I'm sure Peter's ready to go home. He's worked all night long. He's tired. He didn't catch anything. Their business is struggling. Their finances are struggling. He he's, doesn't have anything to feed his family with because it was a bad night. And Jesus interrupts and says, hey, just push out a little bit. Listen, Jesus could have found another boat. Jesus didn't need Peter's boat. Peter needed Jesus in his boat. Okay? So Peter partners with Jesus and with the kingdom of God, pushes the boat out, Jesus preaches the gospel from the boat. Peter is now a partner. Peter has now put his business out of the mammon system. He didn't even know he was doing it, and he put it into the kingdom of God system where things start chasing him. Now, follow me closely. Jesus preaches, comes back in. He says, hey, Peter, I want you to push out your boat out into the deep. Go back out into the deep. And notice what Peter said. He said, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. But Simon Peter answered and said to him, Master, we've toiled all night and we've caught nothing. Nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the net. And when they had done this, they caught a great number of fish and their net was breaking. So they signaled to their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both boats so that they began to sink. It wasn't just one boat full. It was both boats because James and John were partners with Peter. You want to become a partner with people who are involved with the kingdom of God. It will affect your finances and even your physical health. Because Peter partnered with Jesus, James and John were partners with Peter, James and John got in on the kingdom of God increase. Now, here's what's happened. Let me recap. All right. Well, let, let me read the verse. Okay. So when Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees saying, Depart from me, for I'm a sinful man, O Lord. It's the goodness of God that leads me into repentance. Romans 2, 4. When Peter saw this abundance of fish that would feed his family, feed his children, feed his wife, his mother-in-law, pay the bills, give him money to fix his boat, fix his nets. When he saw this financial overflow, this is blast of finances, Peter fell down at Jesus' knees. The reason he fell down at Jesus' knees is because Jesus' feet were buried in fish. Jesus was knee deep in fish. He could only find the knees of Jesus. And he said, depart from me, for I'm a sinful man, O Lord. For he and all who were with him were astonished, astonished at the catch of fish which they had taken. When you get involved financially with the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of God, it's not just a trickle. It will be astonishing. I'm telling you, if you'll get a hold of this, you're getting ready to see the kingdom of God produce astonishing financial results in your life. And, and so also were James and John. They were astonished. The sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon, and Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on you will catch men. And so when they had brought their boats to land, they forsook all and followed him. Why did they forsake all? Because they found a treasure hidden in the field. They saw how powerful the kingdom of God operated financially. It was like the treasure in the field. They forsook all and bought into the kingdom. Just like the pearl of great price, they saw the power of it on their finances. They forso they, they, he, he bought into the pearl of great price. Didn't have to seek pearls anymore. 
didn't have to seek other ways. They found out the kingdom of God would take care of them so they could fulfill their destiny and fulfill their calling. This is what God is setting you up to do because of what he's showing you here on Jumpstart Nation. It is absolutely awesome. So say this out loud, because I'm putting first the kingdom of God, because I'm seeking first the kingdom of God, all these things are being added to me at an astonishing rate so that I am forsaking all other support systems and I am putting my trust completely in the kingdom of God. Now, why did those fish show up at Peter's boat? Was it because Peter found the fish? Or is it because the fish found Peter? It's because the fish found Peter. When Peter gave the boat to Jesus, lent the boat to Jesus, he sowed his business, he partnered his business with the kingdom of God. Then regardless of where that boat would have been, Jesus said in Matthew 6, all these things will be added to you. They'll be placed in your face. They'll be set right before you. Those fish followed Peter because Peter's boat and Peter's business was now out of the mammon system of catching nothing all night, out of the sweat system, the earth curse system of fish avoiding him. And now he was in the kingdom of his business was now in the kingdom of God system that fish follow him. That those fish are money. Now money may not, it may not the, the things of God may not come to you in dollars and cents, but it'll come to you in the value. It may be a car given to you. I just had about $3,000 worth of, of items given to me that I desperately needed that would have cost me about $2,500 to $3,000. They were just given to me by a person with great joy. Amen. Say it out loud. Things are following me just like the fish followed Peter's boat. Man, this is awesome. Love you guys. See you tomorrow.